everyone. I just wanted to share with you um, something that I found really helpful for uh, medications on Etsy. I originally looked up um, something to put asthma, emergency asthma medications in while traveling. And I just happened to come across this store on Etsy. Um, it's called Ouch Pouch Shop. It's all one big word. Shop is S-H-O-P-P-E. Um, it's just this lady that makes these by hand. Um, she actually has a lot of different sizes other than just these, but um, these are what we ended up with. Um, so, And she also has a Facebook page for it, but it's easiest, I think, if you find her on Etsy first and then find it on Facebook. Um, and she'll run specials and she'll uh, have coupon codes and stuff. So I bought four of these all at once last year when we were going out of town for the kids' first airplane ride. And we had just been diagnosed with asthma. Um, so I purchased four of these. And then I decided I wanted to buy one more because um, the kids are actually my stepkids. And so I wanted one more. Uh, so when she's at her mom's house um, for her visits on weekends and stuff that she's got a pouch that she can carry back and forth, and if it gets left there by accident, it's not a big deal. So I'll show you kind of the differences between um, the three that I got. Um, there's a lot of different fabrics they have. Ours are just pretty plain. These two are mine. Um, nothing too exciting. Um, and then we got the same. <laughs> We're, we like skulls. And then... Batman. There's um, little kid geared, big kid gear, boy, girl. Um, there's plain colors if you want. There's lots of different choices. On the pouches, you can have the tag say your name. You can have it say medications. You can have it say pretty much whatever. Um, if you don't put that you want anything specific, I think it says ouch pouch. The original concept of these bags, I think, were to have something like in a diaper bag or in a purse with bandages and um, like bug spray and that kind of sunscreen, that type of stuff. But they turned into people took them to the beach and people took them to the park and people wanted them for medications. And so it turned out as a really neat concept. And so you can use them for a lot of different stuff. Um, there's an EpiPen specific one and there's actually, you can purchase um, some type of a cooler thing so that you can keep these cool. Like if you're going to be outside or whatever. Um, I didn't do that cause I don't, I actually probably don't carry these enough. In fact, they're expired, but, um, I still carry them. So, um, I have to carry a double pen cause I'm highly, highly allergic to bee stings. Um, so they're both in here. The sticker obviously came off of them. And then what the gal that makes these do does is she um, adds a little card to each one. And unfortunately, I threw them all away except for one because I just purchased one more inhaler one. So I kept it. Um, but the, the regular ones will say like medications. Um, and so these say um, inhaler. And then there was, I think, the one for my EpiPen said EpiPen. Um, but it has name, phone number, address, special instructions in case of emergency doctor phone number, and then you can add stuff on the back. And I originally was filling this out, and to be honest, like I'm on so many medications that it just didn't make sense. Um, I knew I would need to make my own. And then um, for the inhalers and stuff, I just, I worried that like, what if they get wet? What if we're like out by the pool or something? Um, and I really wanted to um, make them so that they last for a long time. So what I did was we have just a cheap laminator at home that I bought from Target, and I just typed these up real quick on the computer, printed them off, um, and laminated them. And it worked out really well. I saved them on my computer, so if there's any changes in medications, I can change it in like 20 seconds, reprint them, warm up my laminator for five minutes, relaminate them. And as you can see, this has gotten kind of filthy because um, when we ride motorcycles and stuff like that, um, it gets pretty dirty. And so, um, I don't care if you see my, my history. So what I did, um, is I put name in case of emergency allergies, medical history, and then on the back medications. Um, so that way if something were to happen and my husband's not around, um, 
my kids aren't around because they, they kind of know my history. They know a lot of the stuff that um, I have to take. There's something backing me up. Same thing with the albuterols. I did the exact same thing. Um, so I'll go to those next. And you can get these in different sizes. I know a lot of smaller kiddos use the, the masks. And you can get these bigger so that you can fit masks. These I just got big enough so that I could fit an OptiChamber and the inhaler. And I actually, online, I wasn't sure how big I would actually need. Um, so I measured the OptiChamber that we had. At the time, we only had one. Um, we didn't have even extra inhalers yet. I didn't even think about it because I'm, I'm a new asthma mom. And I sent the gal a message and I said, this is the size. And then she's got an inhaler. Um, so what do you think both of those would fit in? And she came up with this size and said, I think this would fit perfectly. And it does. And so one of them, we have the box in it. Um, and then one of them, we don't. So the Opti Chamber fits perfectly. It can fit either way. I just like it better this way. I think it fits a little easier, but they both fit. And then her rescue inhaler. Then what I did not too long ago is I printed I screenshot her asthma action plan on the computer from her doctor's office and I cropped it and I made it really, really small and you can read it. It's just kind of hard to read. God forbid if somebody that was like <laughs> had vision problems or um, it's really blurry on the phone or was really old and couldn't see, they might not be able to read it. Um, but I blew it up or I blew it, blew it smaller. I made it smaller so that um, it would fit in here so that she always has it with her. Um, the school always has a copy, so I didn't worry so much about that. They just have a black and white copy. But I wanted the copy that had, you know, the green zone, yellow zone, red zone. Um, and like I said, this is a whole new thing for us. Um, her dad and I are nurses, but asthma really isn't like our, our specialty. And she's only 12. She was 11 when she was diagnosed, um, almost 12. And so... It's a really new concept for us. So, um, and then again, medications in case of emergency, um, allergies, uh, medical history, and then medications. So just in case something were to happen, she's at the park at, with a friend or whatever, um, we're not around, she goes down, at least they have this. Um, luckily we don't know of any medications that she's allergic to. We don't think she's allergic to anything. So luckily we've got that going for us. But if she were to have medication allergies like I do, um, and were to go down, you know, she would have that sheet and they could look and tell the paramedic or tell the hospital or 911 or whatever. Same concept with this one. This inhaler just happens to be in the box. I just kept it so that we could have it for refills later. Um, the two bags that I use for medications, here, so they both are the same size. Um, they fit really, really well. I have a double, like a AM and PM one. I don't have my medication list in here um, because I just got this out of my suitcase because we I had traveled a couple of months ago and I took it out um, to update it because I had a change in my medication. I just never put it back. So, um, but I'm not too concerned about mine. I'm more concerned about the kids. So these snap off and on really easily. Um, I really like them. They're just plain. I don't have the clips on these like I do on the EpiPens. You can ask for a clip to be added and the albuterol. I like this because you can clip this onto, you know, when we go to the pool, to the beach bag or to a backpack or anything like that. We've done that so many times and it's so nice. Um, and then, you know, if we're at the pool and I clip it onto the handle of the bag of one of the bags and then just kind of push it into the inside of the bag so it doesn't get too hot but that way it's easily found so we have had it had to use it um, kind of quickly at the pool once and it was easily able to be found because you know if it was just thrown in the bag we would have been moving everything around trying to find it and instead on the handle I just saw the clip I flipped it over there was her albuterol piece of cake um, and so same with hers again, another opti chamber because she's got her maintenance inhaler that she uses. She's got a couple, she doesn't use this for all of her pills cause she actually takes this day and night and, um, an AM and PM one wouldn't fit in here with everything else, but she actually does really, really well. Um, anyway, so we just put her vitamins in here. Same thing as my action plan and medication list are in there. Fits really, really nice. Um, never had any problems with them. 
It's actually not dirty. That's just how the fabric looks. Um, then I, her asthma action plan, um, I cropped a little bit so that it wasn't so small that it, like these, that fit in, in the bags, in the ouch pouches. I made one like this size, and um, I'm going to have her take one to her mom's house and put it up on the fridge. And then I'll show you what we've kind of done is we've got on our fridge her asthma action plan right here. So if for whatever reason I'm not home, her dad's not home, but her brother's here with her or something like that, it's right here. So it's always on the fridge. Um easily found and then she's supposed to um which of course she missed one night she's supposed to mark when she does her medications because it is a new thing um we're getting the hang of it so that's kind of what we found works best for us i know a lot of asthma parents have been asking what do you carry your stuff in um these work really nice and like i said you can hang this on your purse and they're it's not heavy at all i mean it's super light in fact i'll show you where, well, actually, I'm not going to put my EpiPen in here, but I'll show you where we hang ours. So in our mudroom, to go out to our garage, we have this um, big bulletin board, like memo section area. And I have just um, push pins right here, and I just hang these right here. And they hang in front of each other. I mean, mine is empty right now, but, um, or you can hang them separately. This one's got pushed down. See? And that way when we're going out, you know, um, the kids are putting their shoes on there, grabbing their jackets, their backpacks are usually right here. Um, grab and go. So piece of cake. It's really, really nice. I really like them. Um, they're not too terribly expensive. The, like I said, the gal that makes these is super, super sweet. Um, She's really quick about it. One of the pouches that I got initially, I'd had it for like a week and we were getting ready to go out of town for a dance competition and I noticed like this was kind of frayed and I took a picture of it and sent it to her and I said, I don't know if this happened before or after you sent it to me because I've had it for like a week, um, but what do you think? Does this happen often? And she s seemed really embarrassed and she said, oh my gosh, let me just send you another one, no charge. So super nice gal. Um, she'll work really well with you. And like I said, she makes them in all sorts of different sizes, smaller than these, bigger than these, all kinds of fabrics, clips, no clips. You can do whatever you want with this. It's sewn in. It's not coming off. I mean, these are stitched in. So it's really, really nice. Um, they're plastic and see-through, so that way um, we've been at airports and they can look at it and see. They can look at these and see. So it's really handy to have. I hope everybody uh, else feels the same way, and I hope you all have a great day. Thanks for watching.